Hey kids, Seattle Forge here, and uh, I am playing Brawl, and it was an event that happened over the weekend. It was three days, and it might be my favorite fun game mode of all time. So, uh, it's seven versus seven. It changed a little bit since last time, with a bigger map selection and so on. Seven versus seven, tier tens. Uh, if you don't have a tier ten, there were two tier ten rentals provided for you. The WZ-1115A, which is an excellent tank, and the recently buffed <laughs> Suck It 3 marked EBR-105, and the uh, American heavy tank, the T-1025. This uh, mode generally um, is suited well to heavy tanks that don't uh, necessarily uh, always fare well in Tier 10 games. Come on, suck it, you asshole. Excellent. 3 marked EBR-105 down. Haha. -ha. All right, so seven versus seven, and now we're up by one. It's a big change. So, but I also like, uh, you know, occasionally playing, you know, you hope for the right map, but I do like playing light tanks in this mode as well because there's fewer tanks shooting at you, and you can actually do benefit from spotting. I noticed that um, they opened it up with much bigger maps this time. You know, last time it was cl uh, more closed maps like uh, Ensk, where, you know, the action went really fast. So it was hit the W key and run in and get as much damage as possible with your big heavy tank. Uh, the other thing I noticed is that most of us don't run around firing a whole bunch of gold ammo because of the mode, which was also pretty exciting. So you can actually make money at this, playing tier 10s. This definitely felt like a reward mode. It's like dessert. You know, I know that there's been talk about it being permanent. I don't think it would be as fun if it were, oh, fuck 2WZ, 1-1-1-5-A's. No, don't shoot me. Don't, don't shoot me. I'm small. Don't shoot me. Shoot the leopard. He's got less armor than I do. True fact. True fact. In any case, um, I think it's kind of like dessert. I think if you had dessert all the time, it would be uh, gross. Uh, you know, it also is kind of hard to grow money and so on. And this doesn't count towards your stats, which is weird. But it does give you experience and it does give you coin. I don't remember if that was the case the last time they ran this game mode. I can't remember. Nice gun. Um, in any case, so here we are. Seven versus seven, and I am uh, playing the my Russian tanks, so they have different national groupings, uh, kind of like the um, uh, campaigns, uh, campaign mode for uh, you know the Excalibur and so on, where they have like you know uh, the Japanese and the Germans grouped together, and the Russians and the Chinese grouped together. Anyway, you get like three wins, or it turns out draws. Um, in each of those tanking groups, you get 150,000 credits and 25 bonds. So there was a little bit of a mission incentive in here to kind of vary up your play and not just roll uh, with one tank the entire time. But it's not so huge that you wouldn't do that and not have fun. But I'm trying to get my um, last Russian-Chinese game in, and I picked the uh, T100LT because I love this tank. And I thought, you know, maybe it could work out. And it turns out I kind of suck at Brawl. I can't carry... But I'm doing all right here. I'm at 1445 damage, and I do have a little tiny bit of spotting. And it has allowed me to get in behind. Nice gun. Has allowed me to get in behind uh, some of these Waskily Wabbits and maybe, you know, put some damage. There we go. There we go. But, you know, the gun does disappoint me a few times. That was my fault. And I do love this uh, standard APCR. And, of course, it's, its premium rounds are AP. But then you lose the shell velocity, but you retain higher penetration over longer distances. But, you know, as you can tell, I'm not great at leading shots. But uh, there it goes, the TPP disappears. All right, I'm up at a little over 2,000. And they are leading now. They have taken the lead. They ran over our boys. Okay, so I've got my remaining two teammates that are stuck in the same hole. And they're about to be uh, ganged up on. And the TPP is just running at me. And this is, uh, I think, bad news for me because he is a four-shot autoloader. But I get the first shot off, and he takes me for one. And, eh, reload, 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 reload. There we go. Take him out. Okay, but he did uh, lower my health. He did lower my health uh, by about 700. So, I don't have a whole lot left to work on. All right. No. This is not a sniper rifle by any means. All right, and our boys took that guy down. Okay, so our boys uh, are in the hole, but they're defending themselves. Shoots dirt. 
you know, it's all well and fine to, you know, flank and be at a distance and try to use vision control, but if your gun won't hit anything, that is one of the problems with these tier 10 light tanks, is that they, uh, they nerfed, when they made the tier 10s, they nerfed their accuracy, there we go, drop one in there. They nerfed their accuracy, which was a scummy thing to do. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright. So it's two versus two. And they have a slight hit point advantage. And they do have an armor advantage at this point. Alright, now we're up by hit points. They do have the armor advantage. I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, get myself an angle as they're facing off against that STB-1. Maybe I can... Ha 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 ha! Yeah. And the Progetto is running right at the STB. They're just charging him. Alright, I take out the Progetto. And we got a WZ. It's me versus the WZ. WZ is on 394 hit points. I've got 801. But what I'm worried about is my gun accuracy being able to hit with weak spots. And the 5A is a well-armored tank. And I'm a light tank. I'm well armored for a light tank, but I'm a light tank. And he has a great big gun that overmatches me. And he's no slouch. He's on three kills. I'm on three kills. I'm on 3,574 damage that I know of. I'm pretty sure that's accurate. So I think, you know what? I want to change the angle of the engagement. I want to change the angle of the engagement because he's definitely a two shot for me. My gun will not roll that high unless I got, like, you know, a fire or. You know, an ammo rack somehow, miraculously. And I don't count on miracles. Alright, so change the angle. I want to catch him by surprise being in a different place. And he's obviously done the same thing. He is going to sneaky sneak in the corner. And I did change to uh, gold to face off against the 5A. Alright, so I've left him on 60 hit points. 60 hit points. And I'm like, he's going to angle toward me, so I'm not going to have much of a chance to get him. And he's in the bushes, and I'm in bushes. He takes a snapshot. Gambling on which bush I might be in. So I'm going to change the angle again. And one of the other things about Brawl is the uh, time. The less time. The less time. And so I actually don't have enough time to cap. But... Even though that was, I was like, you know, do I get... And I, of course, I missed the cap circle. I fucking missed the cap circle. I suck at Brawl. All right, get in the cap circle. Maybe that'll draw him in. But, of course, unless he's an idiot, it won't draw him in. But maybe he is an idiot. Maybe he's an idiot. Or maybe I'm the idiot. I have a huge hit point advantage. I just have to make one shot. Got my gold loaded. Yep. And it's just two on the nose. Two on the nose. Maybe I should have stayed in the cap circle. But I think I really should have pressed and attacked. But I didn't want to take a run at him and then he finishes me before I get to him. Or I'm, you know, on the run and the accuracy of the gun isn't amazing and I'm bouncing shots and he tags me. And he really could easily eliminate me with HE. His AP rounds should overmatch me, no problem with the 130 millimeter gun. So I didn't press the attack, and I'm gonna agonize about this the whole time. And I'm like, well, I'm in a light tank. I should be able to find him. Like, you know, how far could he have gone? How far could he have gone? All right, so let's go find him in this corner. You know, there's really only two directions he could have gone. So I have a 50-50. At this point, going into the corner, you know, do I take a right, or do I head back where I came from? And I take a right, thinking he's probably gone in this hole that everybody likes so much. And I'm sweating bullets the entire time. You know, you're coming into a head-on confrontation with a tier 10 heavy, with a really great gun and rate of fire, and he's not in the hole. Well, maybe he sneaked over to this other place that's a really great hiding spot that a lot of tanks like to go into in between these rocks and with all these trees. I have a sip of coffee. Thirty seconds left on the clock. No, he's not here. Now, the 5A on my team, who did next to nothing, um, is uh, shouting encouragement at me, such as, you suck, this was an easy win, you blew it. You know, I'm on nearly 4K damage, but I'm the one who blew it. But he's also right. Unfortunately, he's also right. 
and this means I suck at Brawl. QED. So, uh, good news was that I finished my Brawl mission and I did get the uh, credits and I did get my bonds and that helped me push a profit uh, playing this mode. And so I did get 3,908 damage, 334 assistance. I did spot up uh, four of the seven enemy tanks first. And I was number one on damage for our team, but uh, not number one damage for the whole game. That went to the opposing Progetto, who I did take down. Uh, or STB1 actually had a pretty phenomenal game, 3,900 damage. Um, you know, this is just so disappointing. But our WZ, who is shouting me, encouragement uh, actually only landed uh, 509 damage uh, and did very little to contribute I, that made me feel a little better but the thing that really made me feel good and it, i think it's your goal as a light tank player is that there's an ebr in the enemy team that is your priority is to gouge their fucking eyes out take them down eviscerate them and show their you know slather their guts all over the hillside and show that to the enemies is that's what happens when you bring an ebr to this game and that's what uh, the leopard and i did mostly me but that's what the Leopard Knight did. And so very proud that the um, opposing EBR had a contribution of zero. So very accurate gun of 23 shots fired, only 14 actually penetrated it did, did damage. So 3,908 damage, uh, 2,700 from uh, more than 300 meters because I was really trying to snipe and use my speed and ability to relocate and create angles. And I think that went well. I did actually block a shot. Ha ha, you're a loser. Um, and uh, I turned a profit of 163,000 credits. So that was to do with the mission getting the three. Well, it wasn't a win, but not three losses and being in the top, whatever. Uh, you get your credits and I got some bonds out of it. And it was a fun game, but certainly a heartbreak. And certainly one I wish I had done differently. But you can't take them back, folks. You can just learn from it and do better the next time. Thank you.